Hello travelers and adventurers and planners. So here is another bullet journal spread video. So this is actually a plan with me because I'm also doing it for myself. I am traveling to Scotland or actually I am in Scotland right now as I'm editing this. Um, sitting at a hostel cafe and that is what the background noise is. <laughs> so this is actually just my planning but I wanted to share it with you guys so maybe you could get inspired for your planning ideas and I had so much fun making this because it's like such an easy way to keep up with bullet journaling and planning while you are traveling. So the first spread I'm just doing is a cover page spread and I printed out an outline of Scotland and then just kind of made it like that. And I'm sorry if you think it's like super cringe that I am not using like the real calligraphy pen. I'm just doing the outlines. I still haven't learned how to do it. And right now I don't really feel inspired to learn how to do it either. Um, but the second spread that I'm doing is kind of a pre-travel checklist. So I have a checklist of everything I need to do before I travel, which is basically just going to be cleaning stuff as someone else will be living at my apartment and a flight information and books I'm planning to read. So I have a little bit uh, of information about that as well as a packing list. And as I'm writing this packet uh, list in a minute, you're going to see I'm going to flip back to another spread that I have. Um, in my collections and it's basically a packing spread that I use for all travel just a very general one not something that has to do with seasons or specific things but like a very general uh, packing list and I kind of refer to that which is so great I highly recommend having a general packing list in your bullet journal like it helps so much um, I want to make this a little bit like typical uh, bullet journal spreads with like small doodles and stuff because I feel like that really inspires me when I travel to have a cute bullet journal, maybe not so much collaging and kind of stuff. I just want it to be a place that I can fill with my own stuff. Um, and also these small doodles that you see everywhere is taken from Pinterest. So they're definitely not mine, especially this map and camera one. I thought they were so cute and I really wanted to include it in my journal. The bucket list is kind of just things I'm looking forward to. Since I'm traveling with my mom, we have different kind of ideas of what we want to do here and the bucket list is probably mostly going to be like Harry Potter stuff um, in Edinburgh and things so that's exciting. I also wanted to do a weather planner so first I thought I would do like a weather planner for um, before and also one that kind of tracks the planning as I see what the weather is um, but yeah I did a little flag for wherever I'm going to be since the last days we haven't planned where we're going probably south uh, in Europe somewhere so I left that kind of open and then I can also put a flag to whatever wherever we end up going and this next spread is actually a really really useful one and a fun one to have it's a map uh, another map of Scotland and since we're going to be spending the most time here probably and I'm just going to actually we haven't planned anywhere where we're going uh, when we're traveling south so this is just all the plans we've made so far in Scotland and where we're going on the different places and the schedule is kind of an overview of uh, which day we're where, travel, sightseeing and our sleeping accommodations. So that is the actual plans that we have in Scotland. Um, and then after that we don't have any plans. Um, so this spread here is a like Polaroid picture spread and it's kind of to be able to doodle a little bit on the different places. If we see something beautiful or something I can make a little sketch out of it. Um, and I really want to do a full spread for this and I included some doodles and I realized later that it's like kind of downgrading as it follows the line like it starts with a suitcase and ends with a bike but yeah I really like the spread and I kept it no color or color free so that I can add all, all the colors in the Polaroid pictures um, and I also did this for the last spread this is a daily overview spread so it's just like I'm going to be doing all of these every single day so plans what food we eat and a little sketch on the side so this is a daily sketch and the little box underneath is just um, what is it called journaling for that day so this is the overview I'm just going back and doing some drop shadows and making it I don't know like a little bit more coherent coercive I guess and that is it for this video and I hope you enjoyed I was wondering if I was going to be doing uh, what's it called vlogs while I am in Scotland. So I have a little poll in the corner if you're interested in seeing some vlogging, especially in Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh where there's Harry Potter stuff. So maybe you're interested in that. And I would really love to vlog, but I mean, if nobody wants to see it, then I don't know. Maybe I'll do one just for me anyways. So 
It's sometimes fine to get back to your old type of bullet journal spreads. If you have any more ideas for plan, planning bullet journaling, then leave them in the comments and tell me where you're going this summer. I would love to know where you're traveling if you are. I hope you have a great one and a great summer. Take care, everyone.